I wanted to go over a few important setup tips between Follow Up Boss and YLOPO. These tips are focused on owner and admin level users, uh, not something that an agent would use to set up, but just some things to check up in your YLOPO Follow Up Boss setup to make sure you're making the most of it. The first thing I wanna jump into is under admin custom fields, you're gonna have some YLOPO custom fields. They may be further down at the bottom. Um, the most important one is typically gonna be the YLOPO stars link. That's the one that you and your agents would use to easily access the YLOPO stars back end. There's some other cool things pushed in by YLOPO like total logins, total number of listings viewed, um, all great features here, but all custom fields. Something really easy but important to do is put these in an order that you want them in. You can mouse over the eight dots here and drag these around. And so if you want easy access to these custom fields, you can just drag them up to the top. So it makes them real easy to find. Um, if you want your agents to click on the stars link or potentially take a look at how many listings they viewed or been back to your website, um, that is a great way to do that. But move them up to the top so they're easy to find. Another thing, I'm not a big fan of using this hide if empty. For example, if you have that on the YLOPO stars link and they don't have a link, it's not easy to find that field. Now there is now a button in Fallout Boss you can press to show the hidden fields, but I prefer to leave this unchecked because you wanna know if they don't have a stars link, you may wanna add them to stars so they can get read marketing or um, start or stop Rias and property alerts, seller alerts, all kinds of great things you can do there. So I don't like checking the hide if empty. Read only uh, wouldn't be relevant in this particular case, but read only doesn't allow an agent to change the data in a custom field, but it does allow them to view it. So only owners or admins could edit this. This is good for things if you're tracking some sort of lead source or a company lead versus a non-company lead, um, that read only feature is, is a good use there. But let's get your custom fields ordered, get them up to the top if they're things you wanna use. Again, these are global. So if you move these, all your agents will see um, the same order or everyone in your account will see the same order of these custom fields. Another interesting feature is you can actually click on the blue number here to take you to people that have that field filled out. So in this case, if I just hit this button, it takes me to all the leads in my account that have um, stars links. So I'm gonna dive into the client record here, see a little bit about um, what that looks like. You can also see, again, if they've been, if they came in through YLOPO uh, or whatnot, you're gonna see their history over here in the activity. But also if you scroll down, you'll see your custom fields. You can easily just click on this YLOPO stars link and it brings you right into stars on that contact. So really easy way to access this again, to put people on you know, any sort of uh, property alerts, listing alerts, seller alerts. You can control um, Raya, uh, both opt out of a near term conversation and opt out always. Um, as well as opt out of some other marketing. You're also gonna see a bit of history down here too as well as when did they last engage with this? Um, what did they look at? How many listings did they look at? So a lot of great intel here in STARS. But I'm gonna hop back to Follow Up Boss. Um, another interesting thing in your YLOPO lead flow, you can actually, you got a blurred so I can't tell which is which. Um, so while I put down here, you can do a couple of things. I definitely recommend distributing um, to a group. If you have a Wilopo lender that's helping contributing to your spend, you can assign the lender automatically here just to Wilopo leads. In this case, just to Wilopo buyer leads in particular. So really great feature. Be sure if you uh, want a lender automatically assigned that you're doing that here. You also control the lead flow um, or the action plan applied in lead flow. So you can have a unique action plan here for your YLOPO leads. YLOPO provides some great action plans that you can additionally modify. But one of the things that you might consider doing for your non YLOPO leads, if you wanna put people on remarketing from the get-go, you can have a different action plan on your non YLOPO leads and apply that uh, YLOPO underscore remarketing or retargeting tag be sure which one is, applies to your account. Sometimes there are slight variations, but you can apply that tag automatically in this action plan 
So all your new people from other sources are going to be added to your retargeting. Now, if you do that tag in bulk, you need to contact support. Um, it only triggers on new leads that are 48 hours old automatically or less than 48 hours old automatically. So if you wanted to add this automatically and have it firing on other lead sources, just simply add that tag to an action plan. Even if you don't use an action plan, your agents call right away, you can create a simple action plan that just adds that tag. So pretty easy stuff there um, to do. Um, Beyond that, you know, using groups, I mentioned very briefly to route to the appropriate people. Um, if certain people get YLOPO leads or should not get YLOPO leads, um, you could control that easily by sending them to say a YLOPO buyers group and then um, putting whatever agent should be getting your YLOPO leads there. If you do that, you can still assign the lender here or if you get even a little more advanced um, with your lead flow, you can apply a lender to certain types, certain tags, a lot of great things you can do there. You can also route by price point a little bit here in advanced settings. So if you were to do that, you could say, you know, hey, leads that are, you know, more than 500,000 send to this group. And if it's leads that are less than 500,000, you could send to a different group. Be mindful of your group names because they are visible to people in the account. So don't name it, you know, why Lopo leads under 500,000 if you don't want people to know that's what it is. But um, you can do pretty cool things in here uh, along those lines. And you can do as many as you like. If you want to have three groups, 250 to 350, 350 to 500, and 500 and up, you can certainly do that as well. And even apply a different lender if that's a thing or a different action plan uh, if that either that group may respond differently or that lead type should receive some different type of automatic follow-up uh, or reminders or tasks for your agent. So again, relatively basic stuff here, but it amazes me how many people set up their account long ago and haven't kind of revisited some of these things that really you know, help minimize the number of clicks and the ease of use of the system, as well as routing people to the right place uh, and being sure that the appropriate follow-up is happening, whether it's automatic um, or manually by your company. So I hope this helps. Take a look at your settings. Um, drop us a comment if you have questions or thoughts. Happy to tackle any questions there. I'll also drop a link in the description for a recent deeper YLOPO Follow-Up Boss setup webinar that we had that goes much deeper and also includes a uh, free guide going through some of the things you should monitor in your YLOPO system to make sure it's uh, running well.